Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kerr College of Engineering, Trichapalli. This is another lecture on the solution and discussion on gate question paper in the subject fluid mechanics in machines. This is lecture number 67. The topic for this lecture is hydraulic turbines part 2. In the earlier lecture, we solved a few questions from the gate question paper in hydraulic turbine. We continue with the questions from hydraulic turbine. So, the question is from 1997 question paper. Kepler turbine is, there are four options given, high head mixer flow turbine, low head axial flow turbine, an outward flow reaction turbine, an impulse inward flow turbine. So, Kepler turbine is a low head axial flow turbine. So, the correct option is option B, low head axial flow turbine. Next question from 2014 question paper. Kepler water turbine is commonly used when the flow rate through the runner is. We have four options here. Axial and the head available more than 100 meter. Axial and the head available is less than 10 meter. Radial and the head available more than 100 meter. Mixed and the head available about 50 meter. So, Kepler turbine uh, is low head turbine. So, the option is when the head available less than 10 meter, we can prefer a Kepler turbine and it is an axial flow turbine. So, the option B is the correct answer. The next question from 2017 question paper, which one of the following statement is true? There are four statements given from the hydraulic turbine. Both the Pelton and Francis turbine are impulse turbines. Francis turbine is a reaction turbine, but Kepler turbine is an impulse turbine. Francis turbine is an axial flow reaction turbine. Kepler turbine is an axial flow reaction turbine. So, among the four statements, option D is the correct answer. Kepler turbine is an axial flow reaction turbine. The other options are uh, not correct. The next question from 1993 question paper. The specific speed of Kepler turbine, it ranges from 30 to 60, 60 to 300, 300 to 600, 600 to 1000. So, low specific speed, we prefer Pelton turbine. Medium specific speed, we prefer Francis turbine. And uh, high specific speed, it is in the range of 300 to 600, we prefer Kepler turbine. Kepler turbine, the specific speed is between 300 and 600. The next question from K Gate 2019 question paper. As per common design practice, the three types of hydraulic turbine in descending order with respect to flow rate. So, flow rate with respect to flow rate, which is in the descending order. There are four options again Francis turbine, Kepler turbine, Pelton turbine, Pelton turbine, Kepler turbine, Francis turbine, Pelton, Francis, and the Kepler, Kepler, Francis, and the Pelton. With respect to flow rate, high flow rate we prefer uh, Kepler turbine, medium flow rate we prefer Francis turbine, and the low flow rate we prefer the Pelton turbine. So the correct option is option D. The next question from 2016 question paper: Consider two hydraulic turbines identical in specific speed and the effective head at the inlet. If the Speed ratio n1 by n2 of the two turbine, two turbines is 2, then the respective power ratio p1 by p2 is dash. So, head is going to be the same. Speed ratio is given as 2 and the, we have to calculate the power ratio. The answer is 0 0.25. We will see how in the next slide. So, specific speed of hydraulic turbine is given by n is equal to n into square root of p divided by h to the power 5 by 4. So, n is the speed of the turbine, p is the power, h is the head of the turbine. The specific speed of the two turbines are equal. N1, ns1 equal to ns2. So, n1 equal to square root of p1 by h1 to the power, h is, head is also constant. So, h, they are cancelled. Now, we have the equation n1 square root of p1 equal to n2 square root of p2, rearranging p1 by p2 equal to n2 by n1 square. So, n2 by n1 is 1 by 2, n1 by n2 equal to 2, n2 by n1 is 1 by 2 to the power 2. So, this is 0.5 to the power 
point 0.5, point 0.5 square equal to 0 0.25. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2016 question paper. The blade and the free velocity of an axial flow turbine is shown in the figure. The magnitude, magnitude of the absolute velocity at the entry is 300 meters per second at an angle of 65 degree to the axial direction. While magnitude of absolute velocity at the exit is 150 meters per second, the exit velocity vector has a component downward direction. So, given that axial, that is horizontal velocity is the same for entry and exit, the specific work is dash kilojoules per kilogram. So, this is the diagram given here. So, 52.81 kilojoules per kilogram is the answer. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the velocity tri triangle, I mean di uh, blade diagram. So, the fluid enters with 300 meters per second with an angle with respect to horizontal is 65 degree and it leaves with absolute velocity 150 meters per second and the blade speed u equal to 150 meters per second. We draw the velocity triangle. So, the velocity triangle, so the alpha 65, 90 minus 65 equal to 25. So, V1 equal to 300 meters per second, U equal to 150 meters per second, Vf1 equal to Vf2, axial components are same alpha equal to 25 degree and v2 equal to 150 meters per second. So, for the inlet velocity triangle, we calculate vw1 equal to v1 cos alpha 300 into cos 25 equal to 271.89 meters per second, vf1 equal to v1 sin alpha equal to 300 into sin 25 equal to 126.78 meters per second. So, from the exit velocity triangle, so we are given vf1 equal to vf2 here. So, Vw2 equal to square root of V2 square minus V of 1, Vf2 square, which is 150 square minus 126.78 square equal to 86 meters per second. Next, we calculate the specific work. Specific work equal to Vw1 plus Vw2 into U, which is 271.89 plus 80.76 uh, into 150 equal to 52,807.5 joules per kilogram, which is 50.81 kilojoules per kilogram. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2010 question paper. A hydraulic turbine develops 1000 kilowatt of power at for a head of 40 meter. If the head is reduced to 20 meter, the power developed is. Uh, we are given four options here. The correct option is 354 kilowatt. So, when the head is reduced by 20 meter, for 20 meter, the power is 354 kilowatt. We will see how in the next slide. So, power is given as 1000 watts, head is head wall H1 equal to 40 meter, H2 equal to 20 meter. Now, unit power, the definition of unit power of hydraulic turbine, PU equal to P by H to the power 3 by 2, which is P by H to the power 1.5. So, substituting for uh, initial and the final condition, P1 divided by H1 to the power 1.5 equal to P2 divided by H2 to the power 1.5. Substituting the given parameter, 1000 divided by 40 to the power 1.5 equal to P2 divided by 20 to the power 1.5. So, solving this equation, this is going to be 353.6 kilowatt, which is 354 kilowatts. So, the answer to the question is 354 kilowatts. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, uh, you can subscribe the YouTube channel. You can find all the uh, for all the subjects, you can find the video lectures. You can listen to the video lectures and enrich your knowledge. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. If you any query, you can write to me. I will answer your questions. So, we will meet again in another video lecture on the solution to the hydraulic turbine. Until then, bye.